long time ago, in an ancient time of kings, there lived a child by the name of Ruth. She was raised in Moab, and she was chosen by the king to be a servant for his pagan god. Meanwhile, in the holy town of Bethlehem, there lived a woman named Naomi. But when a famine came, her husband prepared to move their family to Moab, heedless of their pagan ways. Ima, our people sang it when they were slaves in Egypt. Even when we do not understand, we must trust in God. Naomi, everything is packed. It's time to go. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. For this home. Ruth and Naomi, two women from two vastly different cultures, soon to be forever united in God's divine plan. My friends and family, thank you for your prayers and the parting gifts. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob be with all of you during this difficult time of famine and with us on our new journey. We will miss you, Elimelech. Our prayers are with you, Naomi. Thank you. May God grant you favor in your new home. From your mouth to God's ears. We love and will miss you as well. I hope to see you again, but in better circumstances. And we must go. Shalom! Shalom! Wagon. Ali Melech, I wish to speak with you. Quickly, my love. It's a day's journey to the Jordan, and we must cross before nightfall. Are you sure this is God's will? Naomi. God has always been faithful and provided for us in the past. He has provided for us. I have already made plans to buy a lantern shop from a man in Moab. The boys will help me. I'll make craftsmen out of them. What about our families? Did God not call Abraham to leave his country and his family? Yes, so he could live in the promised land, not leave it. Cousin Boaz is here! Boys, get back onto the wagon. We must be going. Boaz, we'll be crossing the Jordan River in a boat! Then we're across the desert! Sounds like quite an adventure. 
Boys, you heard what I said. Get back to the wagon. Now. Greetings, Boaz. They are fine boys, uncle. Yes, they are. And with good reason. They've grown up among God's people and his ways. True, however, God's people have turned away from his ways and are doing what is right in their own eyes. And how are you any different? You insist on taking them away. I'm only doing what I think is right for my family. Right? Is it right to abandon your people, your inheritance, and your God? I am not abandoning Yahweh, and besides, we will not be gone long. You are forsaking the land given to us by our fathers. This land has forsaken me. Look around you. My herds have died. My crops have withered. The heavens are like iron and the earth like bronze. I cannot raise my family on dust and rocks. Uncle, we are kinsmen and we must stay together. I will provide for you until the famine ends. I will not live on charity. You bring shame and a curse upon our family by mixing with foreigners. Naomi, do you have everything? A true Hebrew would never leave God's land to defile himself among the godless. A true Hebrew? This coming from a man mixed with foreign blood, the son of a Gentile prostitute. Eli! I am a full descendant of Abraham, and that is something you will never be. Never! Stop! Please, both of you! Never! I pray to God, I will never see your face again! Go now, leave us. You're taking your chances. Go now, if you must, forget all the reasons. Why would you stray from the promised land? Why would you forget his will and abandon us? Just leave us, forget our God, forget all the reasons Away from family, away from God, you're taking your chances Why would you stray from the promised land? Why would you forget his will and abandon us? We'll watch over you in the end I hope the worst for you, my kinsmen I hope you never return, my kinsmen This is the furthest from home I've ever been. <laughs> you have much more ahead of you. The east side of the Jordan is very different from the west. Oh, what's that pile of rocks in the middle of the river? That is Joshua's monument. Joshua's, Joshua's monument? monument? Yes, that's where God stopped these mighty waters and had Joshua walk the children of Israel through on dry land. Praise Yahweh. Yes, my young friends, he is worthy to be praised. Boys are enjoying their first trip on a boat. Yes. What is troubling you, my love? Your thoughts seem so distant. I must admit, I'm troubled about raising the boys in a strange land. Their lives will be greatly enriched in Moab. There is a wealth of opportunity awaiting them. I suppose so. I just always imagined raising our sons among our people. I already miss our home. I do too, but you and the boys are more important to me than Bethlehem. We will be fine. I trust you. Naomi, was I too harsh with Boaz? Well, he is young. He speaks before he thinks. He would do well to respect his elders. He reminds me of myself when I was his age. And look how good I turned out. Only because you married me. When we were married, did you ever dream our lives would take us to 
Moab? No. My dreams were very different. Really? How? Do you remember what Balaam prophesied? That a Messiah, the Redeemer of Israel, would come from the tribe of Judah? Ah, uh, yes, some um, God's plan for redemption. Well, I always dreamed that God might use us to be in the line of the Savior. Really? You never told me that. I know it sounds foolish, but that's what I thought. Oh, I would never think you were foolish, my love. But now we have left. What if our sons take Moabite wives? The line of our ancestry would be tainted and we could never- Naomi, Naomi, you worry about so much. Our lives are in God's hands now. We will do what we can and trust him for the rest. Daytime, nighttime, God will be with us always. Bethlehem will return there again someday. But wherever we're together is our home. Wherever we're together is our home. Over the Jordan, a new life awaits us. But always our hearts will be together. Wherever we're together is our home. Yes, wherever we're together is our This land is now behind you. Quite the place, isn't it, boys? They dress very differently here. But I like all the colors. I do too, Helion. Egyptian bracelets, golden earrings, and necklaces to grace the neck of your love. I would like to buy the golden earrings for my wife. Yes, my friend. Ellie Mele, we cannot afford them. Today we are going to celebrate. What brings you to Kir Heresef? Uh, I'm looking for Reuven Ben Salah. Reuven. His shop is just a few steps away, right over there. That will be five pieces of silver. Five pieces of silver? Where's your money? Come, my family. Five pieces of silver. I could feed our family for a month on that in Bethlehem. You look beautiful, Ima. Shalom! Shalom! Reuven Ben Salah? Can it be? Oh, 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 praise Yahweh! Seeing you is like finding water in the desert. And what have we here? Oh, these are not boys, these are men! Oh, oh, strong, just like their father. And you must be Naomi. You're fairer than the Rose of Sharon. How are things in the promised land? Oh, uh, dusty, but most of our people are too proud to leave. Well, you won't regret coming here. This is the land of opportunity. Whatever you desire, it will be yours. How do they treat our people here? For we worship one God, creator of all things. 
These people worship many gods? That is something we choose not to talk about here. It, it is wealth and prosperity that is found here. It is what you will soon have. Come, Elimelech, let me show you around. Stay here, Naomi. I won't be gone long. Boys, stay with your mother. Here it is! The finest shop in the city is yours. I cannot buy these chickens. They have skinny wings and skinny legs. Don't mind them. Hagley's just the way of life around here. Is it safe for my family? Of course, of course. Everything is wonderful, Moab. Now come, let me show you around. Ima, why is that little girl crying? I don't know, Sam. I can tell you why. Her parents have given her to serve at the Temple of Chemosh. Why? It is an honor. And if she's not chosen to be sacrificed, there's still a great life of luxury. Sacrificed? Yes. Yes, to Chemosh. Ima, what will happen to that little girl? I don't know, son, but we need to pray for her. Yes, Ima. Congratulations, Elimelech. As it is custom of our people, I present you my sandal, a token of our newfound partnership. Move in today if you like. Things happen quickly around here, my love. Bring your whole family. My servant will prepare us a feast. Does that mean we're gonna live here, Abba? Yes, Khalion. This is our new home. Abba? Are you going to give me and Hillian to the temple? What? No, Mahlon. Where did you get that idea? They have just seen an innocent girl handed over to a god of stone. She could be killed in the name of this Hamash. This is their culture, not ours. Perhaps our lantern shop could be a light in this dark world. We have a new home now, with many prosperous years to come. to be fine craftsmen. In Bethlehem, the famine grew worse. But in Moab, Elimelech found the prosperity he longed for. Yet, none of us know what tomorrow will bring. And Elimelech did not know that this day would be his last. Rest on their wings and fly. 
is about to begin. I know, just give me a moment. Don't be late. If Ima knew about Ruth and Orpa, she would die of a broken heart. When do you plan to tell her? Not now. It has only been a year since Abba's death and we are all she has left. We do not want to cause her any more pain. We must be careful, brother. Machlon! Ho oh, oh. ho! Ruth! What are you doing here? I just had to see you before the ceremony begins. When will we stop meeting in secret? Soon, my love. Soon. Ruth, now! Orpa! Killian! As the dark clouds gather, the appetite of Chemosh will be satisfied. And your dancing and singing is a beautiful display of your devotion to the greatest of our gods. And soon, we will make the special sacrifice that he demands. A small child without defect. Is this the child? This is the chosen sacrifice. You are most fortunate to have this honor bestowed upon you. We pay homage to our gods by offering her as a sacrifice to Hamas this very night. Machlon, are you going to marry a girl who's about to sacrifice a child? Ruth would never do that. You'd better be sure. Orpa, 
Come with me. Ruth, my love. Nachlan, I'm so glad you're here. The king of- I heard everything, but this is not a- What choice do I have? This is the way of my people. What, what is right and what is wrong? What are you saying? I thought you no longer believed in these ways. I, I Chemos is a false god. I spent my childhood separated from my family because of Chemos. Are you saying that meant nothing? I feel so lost. Listen to me. They are lost. They are sacrificing to a god they have created. But you, you are searching for the one who created all things. Pray to Yahweh. He will answer. I know you feel alone Your heart's in despair Well, let me pray for you Oh Lord, I lift this prayer to you For peace in her heart, this I pray to you. Come, come into her life, let her see only the truth, this I pray to you. The Lord is with you. I know you feel him in your heart Let his wondrous glory come in He loves you, Ruth But you must choose No matter what decision you make, I love you. Brother, we should be going. You cannot have what? her. Oh, Shalom Akbar. Shalom Akbar. Is that all you have to say, Hebrew? It is late. Please excuse us. We will not allow you to come into our land and steal our work. And now, <laughs> our women. If the king prefers our work over yours, what is that? Blood! Do not say anymore! <laughs> no, no, no. Let the fire one speak. Hey, don't you walk away from us! No! 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 Listen to me, Hebrews! Your father is dead! So let the business die with him and leave this place, or you two will find oh. yourselves in the grave! What is going on? Who are they? Akbar it does not matter who! Helen and I must report the damages to the captain of the guard. Everything will be fine. Come. Brother! Everything will be fine, will it? Not as long as we live among these beasts. Now I am left to pick up the mess. Excuse
Excuse me. Sorry. I did not mean to frighten you. It isn't your fault, child. It's the struggles of life. Let me help you. Thank you. Is Mahlong here? My son? How do you know him? I have seen him at the temple of Chemosh. Do you serve at the temple? I did. <laughs> you are disappointed. Not with you, but with a place where men decide if a child will live or die. All in the name of a god of stone. Chemosh is a god my people can see and touch. You Hebrews worship a god no one can see. Oh, I can see Yahweh everywhere. For he has created all things. I can see him in you. I have had many hardships in my life. Where was your God then? Right beside you, hurting with you, hoping with you, giving you choices. I've made too many wrong choices in my life. Your God would never accept me. Yes, he would. Perhaps that is why he brought you here tonight. Ruth, what are you doing here? I believe she came looking for you. I'm going to go to, uh, to tend a donkey. Eeyo! <laughs> Ruth, what has happened to you? After the sacrifice, I refused to continue serving in the temple. In a rage of anger, the king told me to leave immediately. They kept everything I own and sent me away with nothing. Did he harm you? No, no. Machlon, what is your relationship to this? Ima, this is Ruth. The woman I, I wish to marry. What? what? Now, Ima. This is exactly I what I told you. Your father would happen. Machlon, no. No, uh, I should go. Stay here. Ima. Machlon, why? Ima. She will destroy your faith. No, Ima. She has already increased it. I have waited too long. It is time for us to go back to Bethlehem and for you to marry a daughter of Israel and the lost daughter of Moab. But are we not to be a light for the lost? Yes, share the goodness of God with them, but not your bed. Since I was a boy. You told me to treat everybody equally, and that God is the creator of every person. Of course he is, but we are his children. The seed of Abraham set aside for a special purpose. What place could a Gentile have in his will? I believe God is a plan for anyone who is willing to find it. Machlon, she seems genuine. But the prophets proclaimed this long ago, that Moabite women would seduce young Israelite men into the arms of their worthless gods. She will destroy God's plan for you. My love. She did not mean what she said. Ruth, you do not understand our ways. No. You have spoken your heart. You will not see me again. Ima. Do you remember the day we arrived in Moab? A little girl was being given to Chemosh. You told us to pray for her. I have, all these years. That girl was Ruth. God heard my prayers and delivered her, but now with your words, you've sent her back into bondage. Ah. Go back, Machlon, go back to your own people, and I will return to my mother and father. No, Ruth. Never. God has brought us together for a reason. Don't you believe that? I did believe that. Then keep believing. I know we belong together. But your mother will never accept me. In her eyes, I will always be a Gentile, never to be part of God's plan. God will show her the sincerity of your heart. One day my mother will see you the way that I see you. She will see. in her heart, this I pray to you. Come, come into her life, let her see only the truth, this I pray to you. Yahweh, I have seen your love through Mahlon. 
teach me your ways. Accept me as one of your own and please let me find favor in Naomi's eyes. Amen. Forgive me. I would be honored to have you as my daughter. Come on, she's going to love you. Father, I want you to meet my friend, Orpa. Helion! Mahland and Ruth married, as did Kilian and Orpah. And for years, the bond between Naomi and her daughters-in-law grew so strong, it was as if they were her own. Oh, come on, you stubborn sheep. This is why Noah took them two by two. Yada die, yada, yada die. Zikaron, Zikaron, give thanks to the Father, Vieru, Amen. Oh, my dear friend, we were joining us for Passover. No, Yaga, we do not believe in your God. Not yet. Orba, have you seen Machon? Oh, yes. Here he comes now. Come, brother. We're packed and ready to leave. I had to get Ruth's Passover gift. <laughs> Looks expensive. Orpa, have you seen Ruth? Uh, she's with your mother getting some things for the Passover meal. She says, safe trip, and she loves you. I love her too. I know. <laughs> it's only a half day's journey to Ar. We'll be back before sundown. And I have my own gift for you, my love. Come, brother. Jakob! Where have you been? Oh, my dear! It is a Passover! Every Hebrew in the city needs a lamb! Lord, I know how Moses felt. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for coming all this way. Uh, I remember when everybody came to me for their lambs. Uh, but, you know, it just doesn't happen anymore. And if my grandfather saw this today... Jakob! Do you have our lamb? As surely as God provided the lamb for Abraham on Moriah. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. Give your wife our love. Oh, I tell this only to you. This, this lamb, it was my son's favorite. My youngest, Benamin. You remember Benamin? Oh, yes, a beautiful boy. Very wise in here. Beyond his years, you watch him. But anyway, from the moment this lamb was born, he followed Benamin wherever he went. Imagine that. So I told him, <laughs> we may not kill this lamb. You may keep him as a pet. I am a father like Yahweh is a father. Strong, but merciful. Yes, well, thank you again. And you know what the boy said to me next? No. He said, Abba, Naomi lost her husband. So I want to give him this lamb so I can better understand how she felt. Now, how does a boy that age have such wisdom? I ask you, how? I don't know. Yahweh! That's how! Your son is wiser than I. But not prettier. Killian is a fortunate man. How long have you been married now? Ten years. Oh, anyway. If I had the time, I would tell you about the time when my wife, when she was your age, she was so poor, but so beautiful. 
I chased her until she caught me. <laughs> We've been holding on to each other ever since. Oh, today's a good day. You forgot your lamb. Blessed Passover to you. And you as well. Thank you, Jakob. Jakob? Hello. Oh, Naomi. Oh, Orpa has her lamb, and I will tell you so many more stories, but I have five more deliveries before sunset. So, oh, have you heard? God has blessed the land of Judah again. The famine is over. Oh. Blessed Passover, Naomi. Blessed Passover, Jakob. I burnt the bread. Now it's hard as stone. What about my child? Do not worry, it will be fine. I cannot bake bread without any leaven in it. It's flat and burnt. It is Passover. A little burnt bread will help us to remember the suffering of my ancestors in Egypt. Oh, that's a bird. <laughs> come, come. Has Machlong left already? Oh, yes, and he sends you his love. They have been gone so much lately. Work, work, work. <laughs> Just like their father, but not as handsome. Naomi! <laughs> Was Ali Melech as romantic as Mahlon? Well, we did not have much time for romance, but he knew how to treat a woman. Hmm. I wish I could have met him. You must miss him. Of course. But I still have my boys and our two wonderful daughters-in-law, maybe soon grandchildren. Ah! But we must hurry with our preparations. We cannot let the sun set before we are finished. There's so much to remember. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Naomi! Naomi! Jakob, you cannot have my lamb. I've already begun to roast it. <laughs> Jakob, what is it? Whatever it is, tell us. I. Uh, uh, men. No. They they were found dead along the roadside. I am sorry. Here. 
fear. Oh Lord, their daughters are suffering, lay broken. Keep them beneath your wings. I want to go home. Home to Bethlehem. And we are going with you. the money from the Shh. sale. God will provide Orpa. Will he? He has provided nothing but sorrow for us. Travelers from far and near, we are delighted to have you here. The Oasis of Jericho. Finally, we are here. Our last stop before Bethlehem. 
Uh, excuse me. What's this? It's Nishan's traveling group of players. They present stories from the Torah. Let's watch their performance. You go on ahead. I need to rest and get some water. Today, our performers will act out and tell the story of a Moabite king and a prophet of Israel. Now let the story of Balaam begin and you will discover how God used a donkey to convict a man of sin. Let me help you. Thank you. The colors of the evening sky are radiant and the breeze brings relief from the heat of the day. You have had a long journey. Longer than I had ever imagined. Thank you. Tomorrow will bring you home again. Yes? Yes, but then what? I am destitute, no husband or sons. It's strange how the green far the land of Moab has left my hope as dry as this desert. Even in a desert, God provides an oasis. Times of joy and blessing are for the young, not the old. God's promises are for all who have faith to believe them. Then they are not for me. And what promises do my daughters have in Israel? They will be despised in Bethlehem. Is that not their choice? No, it is not. They must go back. Oh, listen to me, pouring my heart out to a stranger. We are not strangers, Naomi. Keep your faith. Remember, the Lord rewards faithfulness in both the young and the old. Who knows what God will do? The caravan of Zakar now departing for Moab. Moab! Emma, the players performed so well. Why have you never told us the prophecy of Balaam? If God can use a talking donkey, he can certainly use two girls from Moab for his purposes. Listen to me, my daughters. You must return to your homes. What are you saying? There is a caravan leaving Fort Moab. Go with them. And may the Lord reward you for your kindness to your late husbands by granting you new love in your own land. But we want to go with you. And live with your people. My people will not receive you. And why should you go with me? I will have no more sons to be your husbands. Go now. Return to your homes. I will not leave you. Let's go for all traveling south through Moab. Forgive me. It's all right, now you do the same. Do not ask me to turn back and leave you, for I will not. I will go wherever you go. Your God will be my God, and your people will be my people. As God has been with me, I will be with you, Naomi. Tomorrow could be a bright new day for you. 